Hey everybody, here's our third star. All right, welcome. Uh, why don't you tell us your name and a little bit about yourself? Hi, I'm Jill Cassidy. I'm an adult film star and I am from Dallas, Texas. My Twitter is Jill Cassidy and my Instagram is Jill Cassidy. <laughs> All right, ready for some trivia questions? Yeah. Last time with Wit, Recluse, and Kuro, we cleared video games. Now we go through the rest, starting with music. Okay, the category is music. Are you ready? I'm ready. Question one. Who released the hit song Radioactive in 2012? Was it Imagine Dragons, Kesha, Red Hot Chili Peppers, or Smash Mouth? Imagine Dragons. That was definitely Imagine Dragons. That is correct. <laughs> Raise volume. Question two. Which band released albums called Summer Girl, Magic, and Astro Lounge? Was it Justin Bieber, Mary J. Blige, Olivia Newton-John, or Smash Mouth? Smash Mouth. I feel like it was Smash Mouth. That is correct. <laughs> Question three. Rogers Nelson is the real name of which singer? Kenny Rogers, Prince, Usher, or Willie Nelson? Roger Nelson, Rogers Nelson is Prince. Sounds like Kenny Rogers. <laughs> Rogers Nelson is the real name of Prince. Oh. <laughs> Question four. Who performs the songs Side to Side, Dangerous Woman, and Into You? Is that Ariana Grande, Missy Elliott, Nicki Minaj, or Taylor Swift? Not that I call this real music or her a real singer, but Ariana Grande. That is Ariana Grande. Yes, it is. <laughs> Question five, which K-pop band performs Bubble Pop, Lip and Hip, and Babe? Is that Hyuna, Sistar, Twice, or Wonder Girls? I've got two friends that are super into K-pop, Hyuna. Hyuna, was that what it, Hyuna? That is correct. <laughs> You're not a Korean pop fan, are you? No. I did not think so. <laughs> Question six. Which band has albums titled Double Vision, Head Games, and Unusual Heat? Is that the Dixie Chicks, Foreigner, Garbage, or Warrant? Foreigner. I'm going to say Foreigner. That is correct. Don't even know who that person is or band or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's honey. a band, not a person. <laughs> Sounds more like a band, yeah. <laughs> honey, how do you not know who Foreigner is? Question seven. Which song contains the lyrics with your bitch slap rapping and your cocaine tongue? Is that Buttons and Bows by Dinah Shore? It Doesn't Matter Anymore by Buddy Holly? Miami by Will Smith? Or You Could Be Mine by Guns N' Roses? Guns N' Roses, You Could Be Mine. 
I think You Could Be Mine by Guns N' Roses. That is correct. <laughs> Question eight. Which band's members have included Gilby Clark, Mike Inez, and Ann Wilson? Is that Evanescence, Heart, The Pretenders, or Slash's Snake Pit? Uh... I believe that was heart. Gonna say heart. Is that a complete guess? Yeah. <laughs> well, you guessed right. Yay! <laughs> this is gonna be another one of those ten to nines. Question nine. The song "Pump and Circumstance" is typically played at what type of event in the U.S.? Funerals. Graduations, New Year's Eve celebrations, or weddings? Graduation. I think that would be a graduation theme. Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I can't do worse than a tie. Question 10. The 1983 hit, Islands in the Stream, was a duet between who? Carlos Santana and Gloria Estefan, Eddie Money and Alanis Morissette, Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton, or King Diamond and Celine Dion? Rogers and Parton. What was the title of the song again? Islands in the Stream. I want to go with Celine Dion and whoever the other person was. King Diamond? <laughs> yeah. That was a Kenny Rogers Dolly Parton song. Hmm. All right. <laughs> now let's check the final score. Good. Respectable score, but not quite enough this time. Movies. All right. The category is movies. Are you ready? I'm ready. Question one. Which of these movies was Liam Neeson not in? Darkman, Kroll, Nell, or Starman? <sighs> hmm. He was in Dark Man. He was in Nell. Now crawl. It is between Crawl and Starman. I'm going to say Starman. I'm going to go with Starman, but I haven't seen any of those movies. <laughs> well, you guessed correct. Yay. <laughs> Question two. Who played the title character in the 1994 movie Nell? Halle Berry, Jodie Foster, Madonna, or Sally Field? That was Jodie Foster. I want to go with Halle Berry. The answer is Jodie Foster. <laughs> I find it interesting that we're focusing on Liam Neeson stuff right now. Question three. In what movie does a character say, these go to 11? Is it Risky Business? This is Spinal Tap? Top Gun? Or Who Framed Roger Rabbit? That was Spinal Tap. Or this is Spinal Tap, I should say. <laughs> what was the third option? Top Gun. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go with Top Gun. <laughs> no. These go to 11 is a famous line from This is Spinal Tap. Question four. In which movie does the main character give haircuts to dogs? Almost Famous, Dazed and Confused, Edward Scissorhands, or UHF? Hmm. Find me a nice little blind spot here. to guess Edward Scissorhands. Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> Question five. In Beverly Hills Cop, what does Eddie Murphy's character use to disable a police car? Balloons? Bananas? A chain? Or chickens. Hmm. Let's think. Did he actually use a banana? Is that where it started? I'll say banana. A chain. <laughs> he uses bananas. Oh, wow. Okay. He puts them in the tailpipe. It's a notable scene. <laughs> Question six. Which of the following actresses has dated Tesla CEO Elon Musk? Amber Heard, Kathy Griffin, Kirsten Stewart, or Nicole Kidman? I believe it was Amber Heard. Wanna say Nicole Kidman? You must not be a tabloid junkie. It is Amber Heard. Yeah, I don't pay attention to who people date. <laughs> I mean, valid. Question seven. Which movie's cast includes Jim Carrey and Drew Barrymore? Batman Forever, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, or Me, Myself, and Irene? I know Jim Carrey was in Batman Forever. I'm trying to think Drew Barrymore. I'll say, yeah, I'll say Batman Forever. Me, myself, and Irene? They were both in Batman Forever. I'll compare you to a kiss. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Question eight. Which movie's soundtrack includes the Oingo Boingo songs, Who Do You Want to Be Today, and Something Isn't Right? Bachelor Party, Big, The Money Pit, or Splash? Bachelor Party. Bachelor party? <laughs> that is a good guess. <laughs> that is correct. Oh, yay. <laughs> Question nine. 
Which movie had the tagline, Love is in the hair? Barbershop? Grease? Tangled? Or there's something about Mary? Love is in the hair. Go with Grace. I don't remember it in Grace, so I'm going to say the barbershop. That is the tagline to There's Something About Mary. Okay. I've never seen it. <laughs> Question 10. Which movie won the Academy Award for Best Picture in 2016? Arrival? Hacksaw Ridge, La La Land, or Moonlight? Um, I, I think I'm going to have to call bullshit on this because, as I recall, that film was Spotlight. I won anyway. I'm going to call Moonlight and see what happens. Yeah, I took a, took a sick day from work just to get off the chaos for a bit. Well, the only one of those movies I've ever heard of was La La Land, so I'm going to say that. <laughs> the answer is Moonlight. All right, let's have a look at the final score. <laughs> Give me a minute. I'm calling bullshit. No, it's my own memory that was failing me. It was indeed Moonlight. Never mind. Ignore me. Moving on. Sports. All right. The category is sports. Are you ready? I'm ready. Question one, which NFL player played the most years for the same team? Daryl Green, Earl Lambeau, Jackie Slater, Jason Hansen. Jason Hansen for the Detroit Lions. Did I go with Daryl, Daryl Green? The answer was Jason Hansen. Know who that is. Close though. Daryl Green was second most. Question two. Which team did the Pittsburgh Steelers beat to win Super Bowl 43 in 2009? <laughs> Arizona Cardinals, Atlanta Falcons, Green Bay Packers, or New York Giants? Steelers beat the Cardinals that year. Green Bay Packers? <laughs> it was the Arizona Cardinals. Question three. Which NBA team did Kareem Abdul-Jabbar play for the longest? Detroit Pistons, Houston Rockets, Los Angeles Lakers, Milwaukee Bucks. Seems like a trap, but I gotta go with the Lakers. Again, I don't know who he is. I'm gonna say Houston Rockets because I'm from Texas. <laughs> it is the Lakers. Are you no. saying you've never even heard of him? 
Jeez, even I'm not that bad. Question four. Which NBA player was once married to actress Eva Longoria? Jason Kidd, Russell Westbrook, Stephen Curry, or Tony Parker? Tony Parker. Mm. And by the way, it's Stephen Curry. Tony Parker? That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> I've been disappointed with these girls so far. I was told there'd be competitiveness and blue streaks. Question five. Who played for the Baltimore Orioles for 23 years? Brooks Robinson, Cal Ripken Jr., Jim Palmer, or Scott McGregor? Ripken or Robinson? Oh, yeah, they used Stephen Curry's name on the ABC show. Um, shit, what's that? What's that golf show again? Uh, hold on, now I gotta look it up. Holy moly, that's what it's called. On that show, they say Stephen Curry instead of Steph Curry. And there are no difficulty settings. There's literally pick a girl, pick a category, and what is, is. I'm going to say Robinson. Scott McGregor is the only name of that list that I've ever heard, so I'm just going to go with that. <laughs> it is Brooks Robinson. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's not a bad show if you like mini golf. Um, I originally wasn't super enthused with it because I thought the commentary was too obnoxious. But the more I watched it, the more I realized that Rob Riggle's actually a genius. I'm kind of hoping they renewed it for another season. All right, question six. Which Major League Baseball team has the mascot Homer? Like Homer Simpson. The Atlanta Braves, Cincinnati Reds, New York Yankees, or San Francisco Giants? If I remember correctly, he's, he's Homer the Brave. San Francisco Giants? It's the Atlanta Braves. Uh -oh. <laughs> Question seven. Which NBA player made the most career three-pointers? Carl Malone, Larry Bird, Michael Jordan, or Ray Allen? Hmm. Is anybody at 3,000? Jordan, Bird, Malone. Go with Ray Allen. Michael Jordan? <laughs> it was Ray Allen. Yeah, I didn't see it until it was too late, Mayo. Fortune smiles, though, it looks like. And I cannot possibly lose by any stretch of the imagination, so all pressure's off. Question eight. Who holds the NFL record for most career fumbles returned for touchdowns? D'Angelo Hall, Jason Taylor, Jesse Tuggle, or Rondé Barber? They're getting serious with their stats here. Most career fumbles returned for touchdowns. Uh, this is pure guess. Jason Taylor. 
Jesse Tuggle? It was Jason Taylor. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Question nine. Running good today. What is the Olympic record for the long jump? 14 feet, 9 inches. 29 feet, 2 inches. 57 feet, 9 inches. Or 118 feet, 5 inches. It's about 29 feet. I'm going to go with 29 because the last two sound pretty ridiculous. <laughs> That is correct. I'd, I'd love to be able to jump 50 plus feet, but no. Question 10. Which year's Olympics were boycotted by over 60 countries? 1968 Mexico City, 1980 Moscow, 2004 Athens, or 2008 Beijing? Well, it started, the whole boycott thing started with Moscow and carried over the next time in L.A. in 84. I'm going to go with Moscow. That is correct. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at the final score. Never mind that I guessed my way through a good chunk of that. Literature. Okay, the category is literature. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Question one. Who wrote the Sherlock Holmes novels? Is it Agatha Christie, Arthur Conan Doyle, John Watson, or Mary Higgins Clark? Real cute putting John Watson in there as a potential author. But it's Arthur Conan Doyle. Mary Higgins Clark? Honey. The Sherlock Holmes novels were written by Arthur Conan Doyle. Aww. <laughs> Question two. In a tale of two cities, what are the two cities the title refers to? Is it Chicago and Kansas City? New York and Los Angeles, Paris and London, or London and Canterbury? It was Paris and London. I want to say Paris and London. The two cities were London and Paris. Yay! <laughs> Question three. The main characters in Animal Farm such as Napoleon and Old Major, were mostly what animal? Chickens, horses, pigs, or sheep? Pigs. Chickens? They were pigs. <laughs> Question four. Which Shakespearean play involves a court case in which one party owes another a pound of flesh? Is it Hamlet, Othello, Macbeth, or The Merchant of Venice? In case anybody was curious, where this phrase came from, it's the Merchant of Venice. I don't remember any Shakespeare, but I'm just gonna go with, with Macbeth. <laughs> that is from the Merchant of Venice. Okay. <laughs> I hated forced reading, period. Not necessarily because I hated the works, but because principal. Don't be making me do nothing. Question five. Which novel mentions fictional races known as the Eloi and the Morlocks? The Big Sleep, Lord of the Rings, 1984, or The Time Machine? 
time machine? I want to say the Lord of the Rings. That is from the time machine. <laughs> Question six. Which novel takes place in London in the year 2540? Brave New World, The Grapes of Wrath, The Hunger Games, or Invisible Man? Oh, dystopia. Brave New World. The Grapes of Wrath. <laughs> no. We were looking for Brave New World. Question 7. Which 1866 Fyodor Dostovsky novel takes place in St. Petersburg, Russia? Crime and Punishment, Of Mice and Men, Sense and Sensibility, or Pride and Prejudice? I am not 100% certain of this, but I'm sure enough. Crime and Punishment. <laughs> I'd love to see that, Mayo. It was Crime and Punishment. Got it. <laughs> Question 8. Which Ernest Hemingway novel is set against the backdrop of the Spanish Civil War? For Whom the Bell Tolls, The Kite Runner, Madame Bovary, or The Old Man in the Sea? I believe it's for whom the bell tolls. Old man on the sea? No. Most the answer not. is for whom the bell tolls. No, the old man on the sea was quite literally that. Another forced read. Question nine. What is generally considered to be the first comic book which was published in 1933? Is it Action Comics? Famous Funnies, Mandrake the Magician, or Tarzan? Famous Funnies. I'm going to say Mandrake the Magician. That is close, but it was Famous Funnies. Question 10. Final question. <laughs> Who wrote the 1865 short story... The celebrated jumping frog of Calaveras County. Abraham Lincoln, Charles Darwin, Charles Dickens, or Mark Twain? Twain. Well, it's definitely one of the last two. I'm going to go with Charles Dickens. Good logic, but it was the other one, Mark Twain. <laughs> Good logic. All right, let's have a look at the final score. The standards are a bit low there, Mr. Host. Animals. All right, our category is animals. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Question one. A scurry is a group of what? Cats? Rats, spiders, or squirrels? A scurry. The most sensible would be squirrels. Squirrels are, well, actually, squirrels are rats. Oh, fuck it, squirrels. Hmm. I'm going to go with squirrels, because squirrels scurry. <laughs> that is correct. Oh. <laughs> Pretty weak logic, but it works. Question two. What kind of dog 
was Paris Hilton's famous pet Tinkerbell. Chihuahua, Doberman, Rottweiler, or Pitbull? A Chihuahua. Um, <laughs> Paris Hilton would never have any of those other dogs, so I'm going to go with um, Chihuahua. <laughs> the answer is Chihuahua. Yes. <laughs> Question three. Dolly, the first animal successfully cloned in 1995, mm -hmm. was a what? Llama? No. Monkey? No. Sheep? Yep. Or tiger? Sheep. I feel like they do all the experiments on monkeys, so I'm going to go with the monkey. <laughs> nope. Dolly was the first cloned sheep. Oh. Didn't know that. <laughs> well, now you do. <laughs> Question four. The official term for a baby rabbit is a what? Bunny, kitten, rabbitling, or tadpole? Officially, it's a kit or a kitten. Um, I believe the term is bunny. <laughs> the official term is actually kitten. Oh, wow. <laughs> you fell right into that one, didn't you? Question five. A tower is a group of what? Crabs, giraffes, llamas, or ponies? A tower. <laughs> the most sensible... I, I couldn't answer that one for you, Mayo. All I know is that's what it is. <laughs> tower, I'm, I'm going to go with the trap sensible answer, giraffe. Mm, I'm going to say because the long neck, a giraffe... That is correct. By the same <laughs> logic, it could easily have been llama. Question six. Which of these is not an endangered species? Gorilla, orangutan, tiger, or turkey? Not endangered? Hmm. Okay, well, the orangutan, I'm sure, is the way we eat at a turkey, probably is. I'm going to say turkey. Um, I do not think turkeys are endangered. They are not. We probably wouldn't eat so many if they were. Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what I was... <laughs> yeah, that's exactly the logic I was thinking too, Mayo. Question seven. Which of these animals is a carnivore? Beaver, dolphin, horse, or kangaroo? To my knowledge, dolphins eat fish. <sighs> that one's kind of hard. Hmm. Carnivore. I could be wrong. I may be thinking whale. I'm going to go with dolphin. <laughs> that is correct. Wow, I just guessed that one. <laughs> Question eight. What is the only bird that can fly backwards? I agree. Hawk, hummingbird, pelican, 
or stork? Hummingbird. Hmm. I feel like I've seen, um, what was the second option? Hummingbird. Yes, I feel like I've seen a hummingbird fly backwards. Hummingbird is the correct answer. Yes. <laughs> Question nine. What animal has no bones, rather a skeleton made entirely from cartilage? Cats, ducks, sharks, or squirrels? All of these, aside from sharks, have an internal skeletal system. I'm going to go with duck. <laughs> the answer is sharks. Oh, wow. Question 10, final question. In 2010, Kesha announced that Boo, who's now a liaison for Virgin America, was her boyfriend. What is Boo? Cat, dog, monkey, or pony? I don't know this. Uh, dog, just because commonality, dog. Um, a monkey? <laughs> Boo is a famous dog. Oh. And I don't blame you for missing <laughs> All that. Alright, let's have a look at the final score. I don't. Geography. Okay, the category is geography. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Question one. What is the capital of Mexico? Is it Acapulco? Djibouti, Mexico City, or Tijuana? In this case, it's the obvious, Mexico City. I feel, I feel like this is a really easy one and I'm gonna get it wrong. Mexico City. <laughs> the answer is Mexico City. Oh, yay. <laughs> Sometimes, guys, just sometimes. Question two. The busiest airport in the world by daily passenger count is in which city? Atlanta, Georgia, Beijing, China, London, England, or Tokyo, Japan? I believe I read somewhere that it's Hartsfield Jackson in Atlanta. Um, out of those, I've only been to Atlanta and it was really busy, but I want to go with Beijing. The busiest city is in Atlanta. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. Should've that was a really stressful it. airport, I remember. <laughs> Should have stuck with it. Question three. If a person refers to himself as a Kiwi... They are probably from what country? Kuwait, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, or Sweden? That's what the New Zealanders call themselves. Well, Kuwait sounds like Kiwi, so... <laughs> I know it's not spelled the same, but I'm just gonna go with that. <laughs> Honey. That is why I put that on the list as a wrong answer, but it's actually <laughs> New Zealand. <laughs> You'll never be a great trivia master if you keep falling for traps like that. Question four. What are the two countries that border Mongolia? Chile and Singapore. China and Russia. Japan and Pakistan, Madagascar and Algeria. 
First of all, Japan doesn't border anything. It's an island. Second of all, China all along the south and Russia all along the north. Landlock. I feel really stupid right now. <laughs> Japan and um, the other one. Honey. You're saying Japan and Pakistan? Oh, no. Or was, what was the one before that? Uh, do you want to hear all four? Or? I just, there was two. The one with Russia and the one with the Japan. The one with Russia was China and Russia. The one with Japan was Japan and Pakistan. <laughs> I'm going to go with China and Russia. No, no. Japan and Pakistan. Final answer? Yeah. Should have went with China and Russia. Uh. <sighs> Question five. What is the only U.S. state to have more than one official language? California, Florida, Hawaii, or Texas? You know, for all I've said about traps and obvious answers, twice already in this category, Hawaii. Well, it's definitely not Texas. <laughs> um, I don't think Samoans speak another language, so I'm gonna go with Florida because a lot of people speak Spanish in Florida. Uh, actually, Hawaiian is a language. Oh. So it would have been Hawaii. All right, question six. In which country is it common to find penises painted onto houses and other buildings? <laughs> Amsterdam, Bhutan, Iceland, or Mexico? Well, finally, something has gotten a little bit interesting, hasn't it? Uh, I'm gonna say I think it's actually Bhutan but I'm gonna say that anyway I want to say Amsterdam <laughs> The answer is Bhutan. It's a very small country, and that's actually a common thing there. Very strange. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Let me look this up real quick before we continue. Uh huh. I won't read the entire article, but if you go on Wikipedia and look this up, Phallus paintings in Bhutan are esoteric symbols, which have their origins in the Chimi Lakhang Monastery near Punaka, the former capital of Bhutan. The village monastery was built in honor of Lama Drukpa Kunli, who lived in the 15th to 16th century, and who was popularly known as the Mad Saint or Divine Madman for his unorthodox ways of teaching, which amounted to being bizarre and shocking. So there's really somewhere in the world that does this shit. Amazing. Question seven. Which country uses a calendar that places it about seven years behind the rest of the world? <laughs> Canada, Ethiopia, Laos, or Vietnam? That's a commentary in and of itself, isn't it? Ethiopia. Vietnam? <laughs> the answer is Ethiopia. I believe if you went there now, it would be 2011. I had no idea anyone did that. 
Please take me back. Anything but now. <laughs> Question eight. What two continents are Russia a part of? Asia and Africa. Asia and Antarctica. Asia and Europe. Europe and Antarctica. You'd never get Antarctica to connect uh, to either of them geographically. Russia is a Eurasian country. I want to say Asia and Antarctica. Wait, yeah. Sticking with that. I guess. Don't give her another <laughs> chance. The answer is Asia and Europe. Oh. Honey. Question nine. What two countries share the longest border? Is it Chile and Argentina? India and Pakistan? Saudi Arabia and Iraq? Or the United States and Canada? Canada and the U.S. United States and Canada? That is correct. <laughs> That's a very long border. <laughs> Nearly 9,000 kilometers. Question 10. Which of these countries is in South America? Algeria, Bolivia, Cambodia, or Rwanda? Algeria and Rwanda are both African. Cambodia is Asian. Bolivia. Algeria. The answer is Bolivia. All right, let's have a look at the final score. I seem to be running almost godlike today. Two categories left. Television. Okay, the category is TV. Are you ready? I'm ready. Question one. On which show did Fred Savage star as Kevin Arnold? Was that Different Strokes, Married with Children, Roseanne, or The Wonder Years? That was Wonder Years. The Wonder Years? Was that a guess? Yeah. <laughs> it was a good one. It is the Wonder Years. Yay! I've never seen it. <laughs> Question two. Who played River Tam on Firefly? Was it Forrest Whitaker, Kathy Bates, Mandy Moore, or Summer Glau? Summer Glau. I'm going to say Forrest Whitaker. It is Summer Glow. Question three. Which show starred Bruce Willis and Sybil Shepard? Dempsey and Makepeace? Growing Pains? The Man from Uncle? Or Moonlighting? That was Moonlighting. The man from Uncle? We were looking for moonlighting. Question four. Which of the following actors never played the doctor on Doctor Who? David Tennant, Hugh Laurie, Matt Smith, or Peter Capaldi? Tenant did. I'm pretty sure Capaldi did. And Matt Smith did. If I'm not mistaken, they ran in some order 10, 11, 12. Hugh Laurie. Uh, 
Peter Capali. We were looking for Hugh Laurie. He's actually the doctor on house. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I believe the running order 10, 11, 12 is Tenant Smith Capaldi. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong about that. Question five. Which show popularized the pickup line, how you doing? Is that Friends, Gilligan's Island, Night Court, or Three's Company? That was Joey from Friends, played by Matt LeBlanc. Gilligan's Island? How you do? Honey! <laughs> I didn't watch any of these shows. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was Joey's pickup line from Friends. Oh. My God. Question six. On which TV show did Taylor Swift, Prince, and Olivia Munn all make guest appearances? Arrested Development? Glee? New Girl? Or Supernatural? Say new girl. I'm going to say supernatural. You don't watch new girl, do you? Okay, it was New Girl. <laughs> Didn't Olivia Munn pull a Kanye on uh, Taylor Swift at one point? Question seven. On the greatest American hero, what item given to him by aliens does Ralph Hinckley lose? An amulet? An instruction book? The translation matrix? A photograph. I have not seen much of this show. I don't know. I can't figure this. I'm going to say amulet. The translation matrix. And instruction book. Okay. Question eight. In the TV show ALF, which family does the alien move in with? The Bunkers, the Hogans, the Seavers, or the Tanners? thinking of them. Willie, Kate, Lynn, Brian. What's their surname? Oh, right. Tanner. The Bunkers. The Tanners. <laughs> okay. Question nine. Which Avengers star was once a cast member on Saturday Night Live? Is it Jeremy Renner, Mark Ruffalo, Robert Downey Jr., or Scarlett Johansson? Hmm. Was Scarlet actually a cast member? She's been on. Oh, Robert Downey Jr. I want to say Robert Downey Jr. Jr. <laughs> that is correct. Oh, 
<laughs> Question 10. On which TV show did Alyssa Milano not frequently appear? Melrose Place, My Name is Earl, Taxi, or Who's the Boss? She's been on Who's the Boss. She has been on Melrose Place. And she's been on My Name is Earl. Taxi. My Name is Earl. We were looking for a taxi. All right, let's have a look at the final score. Good. And finally, the special famous foods category. Okay, the category is famous foods. This one's gonna work a little differently. I'm going to name a food and then four things. They could be anything. They could be people, books, movies, songs. You have to tell me which one that food is most associated with. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, number one, pizza. Is that most associated with Captain Planet and the Planeteers, Doug, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Granted, everybody would benefit from pizza, but always with the Ninja Turtles. Um, teenage, Mut Ninja teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? <laughs> yes, they were always eating pizza. Never even seen it. Pizza's amazing. Okay. <laughs> Number two. Gawk. Is that from Happy Days? Star Trek The Next Generation? That 70s show? Or The Twilight Zone? Gog is a Klingon food as introduced in Star Trek The Next Generation. Um, Star Trek The Next Generation? That is another good guess. That is correct. Yay! <laughs> Quite, uh, number three. Chocolate Frogs. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Chocolat. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Or Mordecai. They were live frogs, by the way. Harry Potter. I don't know, but I'm going to say Harry Potter. You're on a hot streak. That is correct. <laughs> I've never seen Harry Potter, Potter either. <laughs> is this how it's going to be to finish this show? Number four, Screaming Viking. Is that from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Cheers, Doctor Who, or Making History? Cheers. S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, no, that is from Cheers. Cheers, yeah. No, there's three girls after this, uh, Mayo. Uh, this is the last category for this girl and where I'm going to break the stream. All right, coffee. Is that most associated with the Brady Bunch, Gilligan's Island, Rawhide, or Twin Peaks? Coffee. My God, that's so mundane it could be anything. I'm really hoping I'm remembering damn fine coffee properly, and I'm going to say Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks? Is that a guess? Yep. <laughs> it is a good one. Twin Peaks. <laughs> She's guessing her way straight down this. Number six. Bonbons. The Cleveland Show. Kate and Allie. It's a Living. Or Married with Children. I suppose so. Kate and Allie. I believe that's the Cleveland show. 
That's what Peg always ate, unmarried with children. Okay. <laughs> Number seven. Glenn McKenna Scotch. Heart to Heart, How I Met Your Mother, Moonlighting, or Remington Steel? How I Met Your Mother. Mm, how I Met Your Mother? That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight, Pancakes. Funny Farm, The Jerk, Kingpin, or Uncle Buck? Funny Farm, Pure Gas. Uncle Buck? Wow, that is correct. <laughs> Unbelievable, my God. Don't tell me my streak is about to be broken. <laughs> Number nine. Booty sweat energy drink. Giggly, Paul Blart Mall Cop, Tank Girl, or Tropic Thunder? Tropic Thunder. And please miss this. Paul Blart Mall Cop? Oh, thank God. That is from Tropic Thunder. <sighs> and number 10 sunflower seeds the big bang theory the flash the commish the x-files I'm going to say Fox Mulder from the X-Files. Come on, please be right. Big Bang Theory? That is the X-Files. Yes! All right, let's have a look at the final <sighs> score. <laughs> that was too close for comfort. <laughs> oh, six to six, I was really worried. Well... That's it for Joe Cassidy. And there will be more of this the next time I am with Wit and Recluse. And we're going to see what the other three girls have to offer. Hopefully we get our advertised hostility from at least one of them. But for the time being, that's all for now. See you guys tonight for Pokemon Crystal with Kuro. Until then, have an alpha day.